Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. So today we're doing my nails. I already went ahead and put on these press-ons and I do go around the cuticle area with a hard gel. You can use a builder, really you could use anything to go around there, but I do go around it just to seal it in and I do find it makes my press-ons last a lot longer. I did adhere these press-ons with the Born Pretty Solid Nail Tip Gel. It actually, I'm not overly a fan. I think this gel would work great for big bling. Um, I just, it has almost like a rubber consistency and I just, I'm not overly liking it for a press on, but at this point I've had them on for a few days now and they have not budged, so it definitely would work. I just think I would rather more of, I don't know, just more of a runnier consistency. I don't know, it sounds, it sounds crazy, but yes. So I'm going to use this gel kit. It is a beautiful gel kit, it's, so it's abs, I think it's called AB Gel. I'm not 100% on sure how to pronounce it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint every single one of my nails a different color. And this is just a beautiful pastel set. So I think it'll work great for Easter. So I'm just going to go ahead and prep. I've already prepped all these nails. I've already gone and took off all the shiny layer of them. Just give them a quick buff. You're going to want to do that before you apply any gel product on your um, nails. Whether it be a press-on or even your natural nail you're going to want to give it a quick buff so i've done that i'm just getting some brushes for cleanup and around the cuticles now the this gel polish is a all-in-one gel polish so you do not need a base and you do not need a top coat which is really great just for like a quick kind of a quick set like you don't have to worry about all the shenanigans right all the extra steps but i do want to test it out so i am going to put a base coat on my left hand and I will leave my right hand with no base coat. I just want to test it and see which lasts longer, if there really is a difference or if there is not no difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this Tomica on, Tomica brand on as a base on all five of my fingers. Ooh, all done. So now I'm just going to go in and paint each finger a different color. So I'm going to start with this beautiful purple. And then I go blue, green, pink, and yellow down my head. So I'm just going to put a little bit here on the palette so I can go around my cuticle. I do like to do that. I find this gel actually is really beautiful to work with and it's not too thick so it's quite easy just to use the applicator that it comes with. But if you do have troubles and you do find that you're flooding your cuticle area that you really want to get in there with a finer detail brush and it will help with that surrounding area and then you won't flood it. It just makes it a little bit easier. And also try doing that last. Try doing the, your whole nail and then going back and going around your cuticle. It just gives it so it won't have the time to get in there and flood your cuticle. Just a small little tip. And if anybody is wondering about this hand rest, it is absolutely amazing. I love this hand rest. I got it off of Amazon. If it's still available, I'll be sure to put the link in the description. And all I do actually is just use a little boot cover, but you could probably use like a hair cover or anything like that, like a bathroom one. Um, and I just put over the little, put it over it so that way I don't get any polish on it. I have already kind of stained up the little white cloth that it comes with, but it does come with a cloth. It actually comes with two cloths and you can take them off and wash them, which is great. But I find if I'm doing like a heavy paint day, I just throw one of these little things over it and then you can throw it out after just kind of saves it to be honest. Let's wash. So I'm going back over my thumb. I do like to just do my thumb and just kind of get that finger out of the way. It just makes it a little bit easier when I do want to move on to my other fingers. So I do do two coats on this. I come to realize at the end that realistically this is a three coat coverage type of polish and I'm fine with that. So I did whip through guys and just do the rest of the nails here. And just a tip, have a cleanup brush on hand. It just makes it so much easier if you clean up around your cuticles and your sidewalls. Like we all have days, I have days where some days my polish application comes out phenomenal and there's days that it looks like I am just like a crazy woman. So have that cleanup brush, just have your alcohol on the hand on, hand, on the side of you and go around your cuticles and it'll just make it look like a pro. So much easier. So I go in, I do the three coats on each, and then I cure them. And I do just want to add, just in case, because I realize I didn't overly say that. Guys, you're going to want to clean up around your cuticle and sidewalls before you cure your polish. 
once you cure that, it's going to be set in place. And then that also can lead to chipping, lifting up the polish, and anything like that. So clean up before cure. Just wanted to make sure and add that in there. So now I'm just going over and, like I said, doing the last coat on this yellow. This yellow is such a beautiful soft yellow. Like, I'm just in awe with the all these colors. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really enjoying this set. Alright, so I'm going to go in and cure these nails. They are done. I am going to quickly go and do my right hand off the camera. I'm doing it exactly the same way, same colors on each of the fingers thumb. So in a shake of a limb here, when the camera does its magical things, you will see that my right hand is done. But how gorgeous. There's no top coat or nothing on these nails. Like They're ready to go if you wanted to wear them like that. One step system is definitely a quick way to go. And here we are. So my other hand is done. So what I decided to do, which my initial thought for these was just easy peasy lemon squeezy. I was just going to put the, what is that, the shell top coat over them or the shell polish over them, which just gives like black little speckles, which kind of gives your nail like an eggshell effect. So that was my plan for both of my my, my set for my hands but then I decided you know what let's take myself out of my comfort zone and try something different so I've always seen these little line things and I don't know the exact name if they do have a name for them but I wanted to give it a go so you know what I just did it I just grabbed a liner brush and I wanted to go opposite colors on these nails so I just went through and kind of matched whatever color would probably look best for the opposite color not to be too close to it. So I did do the two off camera and I'm just coming back on to show you guys. Like I said, I kind of went back and forth. I wasn't quite sure, but I wanted to give it a go and test my skills. I want to learn and the only way you're going to learn is to get out of your own comfort zone and don't stand in your own way. I think we are our biggest roadblocks in life. We have self-doubt and we just feel like, oh, I can't do it. Well, yes, you can. So let's do it. So I just went through and Literally you draw little lines until it looked half decent. And then I would draw a next little line until that one kind of matched up. I did want to kind of have it go in the same wavelength. So I just did this on four of my nails. Here you can see, and again, I just have a liner brush, not putting too much polish and not putting too much pressure and then just kind of letting the brush do its thing and then going over and filling it in to make it just a little bit thicker. So I just finished up this nail and I also do the same thing with the purple on my pinky. And then that's all guys. I didn't want to bore you or nothing like that so I tried to not make it too long. So I decided here um, as I jump into a whole new clip, um, but really there was just no easy way to put this in there like this. And I did speed this up a little bit because I did go back and forth. I decided I'm going to try to draw a bunny. Um, now my painting skills is not that crazy but I'm very proud of my little bun bun and I just went for it like I said guys I think sometimes we get in our own brain but just this is why we have these things to practice and play and why not just do it on yourself and give her a go. So here I wanted to try to make one of the bunny's ears kind of curved so I just kind of went over and like etched it and then kind of came back down and then I do go in and Kind of, I have to go in the back in, and I'm not sure actually even if I film this, but I'm just going to say it. I did go back in and make the other bunny's ear a little bit longer because I kind of felt like I was having like a cat on me there for a second. So I wanted to make the ear a little bit longer. And like I said, guys, before you cure, just kind of make sure that that's what you want. And also don't get in your own head to be like, is it good enough? I'm not going to lie to you. I did this bunny like five times. I wiped it off. I had one that was like perfect in a sense and I wiped it off and I was like no it wasn't good enough until I got to the point where I'm like yeah like this is fine like who am I trying to kid it's my first buddy and I think it's great so just don't be scared just to show your art and be yourself so I go in and I paint all this little guy in and the reason I actually went for like a blue is because like I said guys I'm using all the colors in this kit all the pastels 
And I have a bunny that's kind of grayish blue, so I was like, you know what, I'm kind of going to draw him. So I'm just going here and kind of cleaning up around the ear. I think I'm going to bring that ear up, or I end up bringing that ear up quite a bit farther. Like I said, I think she was looking like a little bit of a cat here. Um, so yeah, I do bring that ear up a little bit. Just to kind of, like I said, this is a bunny, it's not a cat, so bunnies do have longer ears. So exactly, I do bring it up and then I still just kind of clean up and leave that pink. Now I'm going to leave the pink part in there because that's kind of like the bunny's it's like skin, right? So I do leave that part there and then I'm just going to go in, whip around, and then be okay with it. I'm like, I have to get to a point where it is fine and it's cute and then shove her in the lamp. I'm telling you. As soon as you get to that point where you're like, yeah, I like it, put it in the lamp. Because if not, you will go back and forth and find things and then probably hit it and mess it up. So take my advice. Once you think it looks good, put that bad boy in the lamp and then keep it, keep it moving on to the next part of whatever art project you're doing on your finger. So after that, I'm going to go in and we are going to put a little face on this guy. So guys, I grabbed my Madame Glam Perfect Black and Perfect White. I'm going to mix them together and get a gray for the outline and the face structure of this bunny. I can't draw the face! Yes guys, that was me. Um, that was the real footage of it. At this point, I've drawn that face like five times. I don't know why, I don't know what it was looking like, but it wasn't looking like a bunny. So I thought I would leave that realistic part in because it's real. We, we try it multiple times. This is camera. I make this look like I only do it once because it's called editing. And I just want to show you that it does take time and it's okay that it takes time, but just keep practicing and believe in yourself and then you can achieve whatever you want in life. So this is my bunny. I make it to this point, I'm okay with it. And then, like I said, I just kind of draw it in a little bit of whiskers, a little bit of like a face type of thing. And yeah, I like it. I think he looks cute. Like not bad for my first bunny. Hopefully this time next year, I will, my skills will definitely elevate from then and I will definitely get to keep on practicing. So if you guys see random bunnies pop up in some nail art, you know I'm just trying to perfect my bunny. So now that I have the structure of the face, the eyes, and the little mouth and the nose, I'm going to go in with this gray and I'm just going to outline the top of the head and the ears of the bunny. And I think that's just going to kind of make it pop and just give it a little bit of definition. And the reason I went for a gray instead of a black or even a white in this case is because I am using all pastels and I just think the gray gives it the outline that it needs but just kind of toned down so it's not going to be like bam in your face. Like I said guys, I really wanted to keep this more on the light pastel colors. So that's just kind of how I went with this design. I just thought it fit it a little bit better. So I do go in with my cleanup brush just to go around the little areas where I made the shadow effect just a little bit too thick. Like I said, I want this more of like a shadowed just to kind of make the little bunny pop. So I don't want them too, too thick. So I will go around and make sure that they're all nicely cleaned up and etched. I don't want to make it exactly like the perfect line either because bunnies do have hair. So I kind of want it to be like... A smidge like frayed up I guess if that makes sense do you know what I mean to see a little bit of the lines as the texture so I do try to add that effect in as well so I do go around just make sure everything looks nice neat and clean and then I'm going to just put two little dots for the eyes they don't come out exactly perfect but you know what this bunny is perfect to me and that's all that matters so I do just put little um little white dots for the eyes and then I'll go in with a little bit of blue as a dot as well and then I do put a little bit of the same pink that is on my nail as the nose. Now 
Now is he not just the cutest little guy? I'm very proud of my bunny. So I've also decided to go in with that same pink and just go inside of the bunny's ear just to kind of elevate it a smidge. I kind of, I really want that pink to kind of pop so we know that that is like the defined inside of a bunny's ear. So I do go in again with some, the same color that's actually on my nail. So that same pink just to kind of get it like raised a little bit. So it just kind of gives it a little bit more of, of um, some definition. So now I've decided to grab my Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat and I'm just going to give them a top coat. I know you, I said like you don't have to. Um, in this polish it is a one step and I used all of the same polish for the art. But I just really want to kind of seal it in so I have decided to put a top coat over top of it. Now with that being said I've had no trouble yet of any lifting or any separation. But because it is a one step you could have issues with it having something to grip to. Like I said, right now I have had no issues or no problems. I did not want to go through and give it a quick buff. I just didn't know if that would change anything in it. So I did not give that a, a try or I didn't opt to go that direction. I just put the top coat over top. And like I said, I've had no issues with any separation or anything like that. It seemed to have stuck quite fine. Do go around your edges to make sure that you seal underneath. And I think you'll be okay. And here we are guys, here is the finished left hand. I think it turned out absolutely so stinking cute. I love it, I love my bunny. I'm very proud of myself and going out of my comfort zone. So my right hand, I'm going to do what I originally was going to do on both of my hands. I'm not gonna do the same thing. I am just going to basically turn it into little Easter eggs. So I do go here and I just put this shell polish over top. Now it's not something you have to do, but because I do want it to look quite even, I do, go and just put some on my palette yeah so i put some on my palette and i just want to take these little black speckles and kind of put them where i want them i do want pretty decent coverage so almost every little part of my nail has a little something i don't want too many like little blank spots because i do want these to look like little colorful easter eggs so i just go and do that and then i do go back over this polish the eggshell polish with the Madame Glam top coat as well. Guys, we are almost done here. I do just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. I truly, truly appreciate all you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Share with a friend. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one. Bye!